Hello everybody, welcome to TechLore, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a free VPN for your Mac computer. Now I did have a previous video, but it just got outdated because the whole VPN got shut down sadly, but no worries, TechLore is here to save the day. So something to keep in mind about free VPNs is that they're not going to be as secure, as fast, and as good as paid VPNs. That's kind of my disclaimer about free VPNs. Now if you do want to look into more privacy-oriented things like paid VPNs, I do have tons of reviews on my channel, so make sure to check that out when you get a chance. So today we're going to be using VPN Gate. It's an open sourced, free, secure, and safe VPN. It's unlimited, so don't worry about that. It's run by a Japanese college, and it's part of an open source project. So for the most part, it can be trusted, but once again, it's a free VPN, so just keep that in mind when you're using it. So first, go to the vpngate.net website. I'll leave it in the description. Uncheck all of these except Open VPN and click refresh. So now we want to find a server to connect to in order to get the best speeds. From my experience, the Japan servers don't work very well, so I would avoid them. The trick is to find a server with high download speeds, which is this number here, and the higher the better. But you also want low ping, which is this number, the lower the better. So you gotta find a balance between these two numbers, and if two servers seem to be very close in their stats, just pick the server in a country that's closest to your location. So I'm gonna use this Korean server for this video just to keep things simple. Go ahead and click Open VPN Configuration File. You're gonna download the file with the DDNS host name and the UDP variant, not the TCP variant. Once you've downloaded the file, I'm gonna leave a second link in the description to tunnelblick.net, which is going to allow you to connect to the OpenVPN profile on your Mac for free. Click Download Latest Stable Release and patiently wait for it to download. Once it's done, go ahead and close out of your web browser and open the Tunnelblick download. Double click the application and click Open. Type your computer password. We already downloaded our OpenVPN configuration files, so click I have configuration files, then click OK. Now let's find our configuration files that we already downloaded. It should be in your downloads folder, but find wherever you save the file and drag it over to the TunnelBlick icon on the top right of your screen. Click only me and then type your computer password. Now simply click the icon and select the VPN gate configuration file and it will connect to the server. You can see here, if I look up my IP address, it shows I am in South Korea, which is the server selection we downloaded. So that's how you set it up, guys. That's the very simple version of how it works. And now I'm gonna show you some extra little things to help you out, as well as what to do if your VPN connection is blocked by your Wi-Fi. So first, click the icon again and click VPN details to pull up the settings. If this is the only server you're gonna to wanna to connect to, select connect when TunnelBlick launches to make your life a little bit easier. This should be the only major setting most of you will have to mess with. Everything else can stay as is, and if you do wanna mess with anything else, you'll probably know what you're gonna to wanna to do. Now, if you can't connect to a server because your Wi-Fi is blocking VPN requests, which is very common in things like schools and your workplace, one thing you can try, which sometimes works, is using the TCP variant of the OpenVPN configuration file. So remember back here when I told you guys to download UDP? Well, if UDP doesn't work for you, download the TCP variant and see if that works. That's the tutorial, guys. I hope this helped you out. If you need some help, make sure to leave a comment below so I can get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more security-related videos and tutorials. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.